Right, so we've got the Planet Modular BGA by Castor DS Agra Service. And there's a lot to this pack, so we're going to take it separately and show you what it actually does. So if we go into the construction menu, we'll start off with that one. So we're going to come down to productions and factories. We'll go all the way along. So what you've got is the first three options. Now you're going to need to place one of these down. So you've got bunker small, bunker medium and bunker large. You go for whichever one you want, but obviously you're going to need that to start it all off. So we'll go with a large one and we're going to place it handily right by our tractor that's got the silage bales on. So we'll place that down. Next thing you're going to need is a fermenter. So you go for the 100, 200, 300, 400, whichever one you want to go for. We're going to go for the 400. I'm going to place that down behind it. Now, as far as this mod goes, you're good to go. Because what you can do, all these are individual production chains. So we'll click on that one. And we've got these two here so far. That's what we placed down. Now you can sell at any point. If you wanted to just put your bunker down and then sell the stuff off, come over here, put it to selling, whatever. Jobs are good in. But obviously the more you progress it through the mod, the more you get paid for it. So that's what we're going to do. So we've got the silage one on the go at the minute. That's what we've got in the back of the trailer. So we're going to put that silage. Then you want to put that to distributing and then that's then going to make it into biomass and then send it to the fermenter. Fair enough. Right. So then what you want to do next, we'll click back into the construction menu and back into productions. We've got a couple of more options after that. So we've got the fermenter down. Now you've got liquid digester. So if you want to do slurry, you can do this separately. If you didn't want to do the original bunker, you could go down the slurry route. So we'll place... A liquid digester just down the side there like that jobs are good in then we've got a secondary digester so again if you just wanted to run this there is something else that you are going to need to place down for it to work anyway if you want to run this not a problem you go for it but if you want to make a bit more money put the secondary digester down like that yeah so what it'll do we're gonna get a slurry there we are, Slur central storage slurry, central slurry storage. So you're going to put your slurry into that one. That's then going to go into the liquid, oh, what's it called? Liquid digester. That's then going to go into the secondary digester and obviously make them more money. So again, as with the bunkers, they're all individual on the production chains. So you have to click them all to distribute. I mean, you can at any point click them to sell in if you wanted to. Give me the option to unfasten tension belt. That's random. Random indeed. It's not giving me the option to open the production chain menu. All right, we'll go into it this way then. So we come down to the, there we are, central storage for the slurry. So we're putting slurry in. Obviously, you go for whichever one you want to on the thing. So we'll click on that one. Obviously, there's nothing in there at the minute. We're going to need to put some stuff in. So then we've got the liquid digester. You... There you are. Put it on distributing. That's a better one. Then we've got the liquid digester. So, yeah, we'll click that on to distributing. And then that's going to go to the secondary digester. We're going to click that on distributing as well. So back into the construction menu. <laughs> There is a lot to this, I must admit. So, we've got the secondary digester down. Great. That's not a problem. We've got the central slurry storage down. Great. We've got the central digestate storage down. So, obviously, when all this is done its thing, you're going to need to take some digestate out. So, you're going to want to place a digestate outputting point. So, we'll place that down there. So, then all the digestate is going to go into that, and then we're going to be able to take it out of there. No problem. And we'll go on to the next one generator small now all of these are going to obviously make digestate and going to make methane biogas whatever you want to call it so you want a generator this is going to turn it into electricity and it's going to sell it off for you so we'll place that down we then got the generator medium which is just a bigger version of that one to be fair then we've got the generation strateron Str strater what sort of name is that all right going to do the exact same but it's going to turn the methane into usable methane 
So we'll place one of those down. We're then going to move on to the next one, methane sales. So if you wanted to turn the gas into usable methane, you can then place down the methane sales. It gives you an option to sell it off. That's what it does at the end. Just the same as the electric generator one. And we'll come down to the methane storage. If you want to store it, place that down. Obviously, you come along and you unload into a suitable trailer. And then, oh no, come on, dear, oh dear. Press too many buttons. Right, back into it. So we've got to the methane storage. There we are. So we've got the next one, electricity storage. So if you didn't want to sell, if you wanted to store it, where you wanted to sell it off at a, a different place, a different mod that requires it or whatever, or you just wanted to use it to fill up your electric vehicles, you can place one of these down. Like that. Oh, <laughs> excellent. So what we've got now is basically a setup of all the base elements, shall we say. Now obviously, you go for whichever one, whichever one you want. So I've come down to this one there. So we're going to chuck a couple of these bales in. A couple of these stylish bales. I can't see where I'm going. Chuck that in there. That's that one. And chuck that one like that jobs are good and so we're going to come over to this tractor we're going to load that slurry into this one into the liquid storage and spin the trailer around come on when the engine starts get yourself ready there you are so we'll spin it around like that loading jobs are good and right so we'll go back into the production chain menu so we started off at the beginning so we've got the bunker and the silo so we'll start the silage off. So that's now going to run. That's then going to distribute that into the fermenter 400. So you see there, silage is going to make out of silage the biomass silage. You want to go down to that particular one there. So this one is here, silage post-fermented raw methane. So that's going to take that silage biogas, turn it into methane and digest it. So we'll get that running and we'll put, methane in distributing so that's going to put it onto the actual methane storage part we're then going to put the fermentation residue onto storing so that's going to put it into the whole storageable area for it and then we're going to do the residue and that put that into distributing as well so obviously the bunker's running that's now waiting for the stuff to come from it we then come down to the Central slurry storage, so that's all gone in, that's now running, so that's going to distribute to the liquid digester. So we're going to turn that on, and we're going to put that to distributing, and then the residue to distributing as well. So that's going to all pile up nicely. Then we'll come down to the central digestate storage. So that's going to be on storing, so you just take it out of there, that's fine. And we've got the generation small, so this is where you have it selling. Now, if you wanted to sell it, obviously you'd turn it on. Or if you didn't want to sell it, you just don't turn it on at all. It's a production chain, which is great. Come down to the sellable methane, the generation strata run. Again, if you wanted to sell it directly, you just start it up and it will sell off. No problem. Now, we'll come down to the methane storage. Obviously, it's storing. You have got the option there. If you wanted to sell it or distribute to an ongoing one, entirely up to you. But if you wanted to store it, for using in other vehicles obviously you leave these bottom two the methane storage and the electric storage down to storing and you pull off and then you'll fill your vehicle up which is ace so we've got everything running and everything's going to be stored where we wanted to so we're going to need to fast forward the time a little so we'll go up here there you are so we'll fast forward it we'll put it up to nine o'clock and that'll give the time for the whole place to start processing stuff so that'll do we'll turn the time back down now so we go back up there we'll go up the top so we're now out of silage that's great on the bunker to start off with we're now at the fermenter so we've got silage in got 10,000 litres there that's all down to distribute that's all running jobs are good and then we'll come down to the slurry the storage itself still got 19,000 in it although we did put was it 50,000 went in there? And we've got the liquid digester. That's still waiting for some stuff. So that's waiting from the central slurry. If we put that on the wrong one. That's on storing, isn't it? 
No, because that's the one that it's making. And we'll come down to the central digestate storage. That's nothing in there yet and nothing in these bottom ones. So it's still waiting to go through the whole process. So what we'll do, we'll fast forward time a little bit more. Take up to 10 o'clock. Give it a bit more time to get through the whole system. Because it's obviously it's a production chain. It's a process. You've got to go through it all. So that's 10 o'clock. Let's see where we're at now. So obviously, bonk is still out. Now the ferment is out. So we've got fermented story, fermented slurry. All right. So that's there. That's fermented slurry. So we should be able to... What do you do with that? That's got incoming materials. That's just going to fill up and not be used. All right. Okay. So we'll come down to the digestate of raw materials secondary digester so we now had all that going from the slurry input that's gone into the liquid digester that's now been processed and is into the secondary digester which is now processing that now we come down to this one there's nothing in the central digestate storage yet mind you so what's going on with that one the central slurry is done digestates that's on distributing that's probably not produced enough yet that's why but then this one, where's all that stuff gone? Got sold well, raw methane. Ah, so we've got some stuff in the generators, so we could sell that off if we wanted to. We've got stuff in the sellable methane. We've got some stuff in the methane storage, and we've got some stuff in the storage for electric. My question is, is that there? Fermenter slurry. Where do we take that out from? That is strange because it's not giving us the option. So if we liquid fermenter slurry, so that's that's what that makes. All right. So where does that go in then? That's really random. It's one part of this I don't understand. So we got that there. So what ferment? Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on a minute. So that needs fermented slurry. Ah, there we are. So we need to process that again. So we've got post fermenter raw methane liquid manure. So if we turn that on, we turn that off, that's, that's now going to reprocess the slurry that's in there and send it through the system again. Oh, right. Okay, I get you now. Right, I'm on it. I'm on it. Fair enough. We've still got no digestate though, have we? Nothing yet. Although, to be fair, we're still waiting for the secondary digestate to finish off doing it. And then, obviously, we've now got to put that one through again. Right, so let's fast forward time again. Let's do another hour. So we've got to 11 o'clock. See where we are with that. So pretty much everything's good to go apart from the digestate. So what I mean about this is quite complicated, I must admit. Right, so let's go down. No, we've still not got anything in there. So that's... Storable fermentation residue. All right, so what's making that fermentation residue? Oh, there we are. It's there. Dear, oh dear. So the digestate, so from the secondary digestate, we've got it there. So we need to put that to distributing. And then we've got storage fermentation residue that's on distributing obviously that's not processed it yet right so i think we're there i think we're there at some point i must admit dear oh dear right let's fast forward another hour let's see how we get on we'll go up to 12 o'clock right 12 o'clock let's now have a look yeah that's better we got it in there excellent so we've now got some storable fermentation residue. So we now need to start that one up. That's then going to turn all that into digestate. Man alive. That was complicated. Dear oh dear. So let's have a recap. So you put your silage or your manure or your sugar beet into the bunker. That then gets turned into whatever you're doing in the fermenter 400 or whichever one you've gone for. That then gets turned into one of these outputs because it also turns into fermenter slurry, 
which you then need to reprocess, which will then go to the digested storage. Right, fair enough. Got that. Not a problem. You then got the central slurry storage. You bung it all in. That's then going to go into the liquid digester, which is then going to go into the secondary digester, which is then going to send stuff out to the methane storage and then the digestate storage as well. Right. <laughs> Dear, oh dear. Then the central digestate storage is going to take all that fermentation residue and turn it into digestate. Jobs are good. In. The generator small is going to take all the raw methane and then you can sell it off if you wanted to just by running that production. Same with the generator strateron. It's going to take the methane and sell it off if you wanted to. And then we've got the methane storage, which is obviously going to store the methane, and then the electricity that's going to store that as well. Oh man, take a breath. That is a lot, I must admit. But that being said, you can go for whichever one you want. Obviously, you've got the, the raw material options, go down that road, or you can just do slurry. If you've got a load of slurry, go down that road. You don't have to buy the whole BGA. Obviously, you do need to buy certain elements depending on which way you're going. But yeah, I like that. Complicated, I must admit. I mean, you may need to rewind the video and just cut out some of the bits that i got wrong but all right it is what it is it's a complicated one but there we have it that is the planet modular bga by caster ds agra service and i'm gonna go for a lie down because it's giving me a bit of a headache but if you've enjoyed this episode and found it helpful hit the like button if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one